Americans with profound sentiments of gratitude and appreciation, of respect and esteem for Bishop Daniel A. Hart that we gather for his mass of Christian burial. A priest for almost 55 years, bishop for more than 31 years, we gather with deep gratitude to God for all of his gifts and all of his talents, which he so consistently placed at the hands of God's people, and leadership in the church that we are all privileged to celebrate today. God our Father, may your servant Daniel A. Hart rejoice in the fellowship of the successors of the apostles whose office he shared in this life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Lamentations. My soul is deprived of peace. I have forgotten what happiness is. I tell myself, my future is lost, all that I hoped for from the Lord. The thought of my homeless poverty is wormwood and gall. Remembering it over and over leaves my soul downcast within me. But I will call this to mind as my reason to have hope. I shall live. from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, knowing that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and place us with you in his presence. Everything indeed is for you, so that the grace bestowed in abundance on more and more people may cause the thanksgiving to overflow for the glory of God. Therefore, we are not discouraged Rather, though our outer self is wa wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. The Church of Norwich mourns the death of our beloved former bishop. Bishop Hart was an outstanding leader, a gentle yet vigilant shepherd, a great servant of God, a man of deep faith and profound spirituality. Our loss in this diocese is great. For though retired for the past five years, Bishop Hart never slackened the pace of his pastoral ministry on his life's journey to serve Christ as a priest and bishop. To all who gather here, as well as to all the members of the Church of Norwich and the Church of Boston, I know that Bishop Hart would want me to thank you for your prayers for him, especially during these last several months. He was strengthened by your prayers and your own faith in the Lord's healing power. As he faced this terminal illness, prayer is the only request that he ever made. You did not disappoint him in fulfilling that request. While Bishop Hart would be embarrassed by the tribute we accord him today, and by those that we have received over the past several days since the news of his death, he would enthusiastically join us as we stand together in praise and thanksgiving to God the Father, whom he served so well, so faithfully, so effectively as a priest and bishop. His pastoral care for those entrusted to him in this diocese and in Boston, where he served for 19 years as an auxiliary bishop, is legendary. Notes of thanks were never forgotten, nor were the telephone calls, outreach to the sick, and visits to retired priests. Nothing escaped his notice. After learning of a priest's hospitalization, he would often be the first visitor a priest would receive. On one occasion, upon notification that an ill priest had been rushed to the hospital, it is reported that Bishop Hart was there to visit the priest before the priest himself had arrived. <laughs> <clears throat> now that's service. <clears throat> Bishop Hart led the diocese in the midst of crisis, and its turbulence caused some to doubt, and still others to lose confidence in the church. The bishop's adept handling of these challenges kept the diocese on course 
and helped to heal the wounds inflicted by the crisis. He personally called or wrote to all who expressed their disappointment, their feeling of being let down by what they had trusted and hoped in. Bishop Hart sought to restore their trust and their hope. In our experiences with Bishop Hart, we found that we received from him much more than we had given. His gracious, easy manner endeared him to many, but his popularity never distracted or deterred him. His focus was always on Christ in the church, never on himself. While his health failed him, his heart never did. He was gracious and grateful to the very end. While deeply saddened by his death, we do not despair. Our sorrow is laced with joy in the knowledge that he now lives with the Lord. Let us pray. <clears throat> All-powerful Father, God of mercy, you gave Bishop Daniel Hart, your servant, the privilege of doing the work of Christ on earth. By this sacrifice, free him from sin and bring him to eternal life with Christ in heaven, who is Lord forever and ever. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother, Bishop Hart. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. To your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother, Bishop Hart, in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon him in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servants and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and lead you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Eternal rest grants unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest.